Hey guys, it's Sash, and in this video, I want to share a war recap. A war we've just had against this Asian clan, and it was a very close war. We won by four stars, but they did a lot of destruction. As you can see, they had 88.5% damage, and we've had an average of 82.65%. Uh, so we've actually managed to win this war, and uh, I'm actually very proud of winning this war because we've done it against a clan using very fishy methods of attacking. What they did was they started by dropping a few troops like a few barbarians and then surrendering without even doing anything else. Uh, they used their bottom players to scout our top four bases. Well not scout, they just simply dropped a few troops and then just surrendered. Uh, so yeah, you guys probably are aware of this, this cheating that's going on in wars for a very long time. Uh, so as you can see their top player uh, long he he did 95% damage to our top player fairies, but only got one stars So obviously the attack method that he, he used was a very risky attack method He started by sending out his heroes at the bottom to remove those bottom defenses and uh, No real attacker would do such a thing especially with lava loon you would instead you would you would instead see attackers using their heroes to remove uh, air defenses like at the top. But instead of doing that, this attacker decided to remove the southern defenses. So he obviously knows something we don't. And then he's going to start by sending out his lava, lava, lava hounds and all 30 of his uh, balloons from top. And uh, the big mistake, the big reason why he failed to uh, three star this base is because he did not remove the Archer Queen. So he was really banking on his Lava Pups, his pups of removing that level 40 Archer Queen or he was also banking on all 30 of his uh, balloons to have a good chance of dropping their damage onto that level 40 Archer Queen. So obviously this attacker was not very skilled in that sense, no real attacker or no skilled attacker. Uh, would attack in such a manner going up against a centralized archer queen like that uh, with lava lava loon uh, so this attacker was <laughs> hoping to get lucky using his lava puffs or balloons or probably he thought that he was going to be able to remove that archer queen and three star this base but no instead he uh, ends up getting a one star archer the warden is super weak it's gonna take him forever to deal any real damage onto that uh, town hall. So he's gonna fail. So then how did we beat this clan? Well, we beat this clan by going for the safer route. We decided to two star all their top players instead of going for some really risky three star attack strategy against them. We did not do that. We went for the safer route and uh, two star their top bases. So here I went for the simple standard mass golem attack. Uh, started by sending out a earthquake spell to weaken his core sends out hog rider right here onto that expo he made a mistake of uh not making his clan castle completely undurable so i took advantage of that lured out his clan castle lava hound and i'm going to take my sweet time here because of the extra 30 seconds added i can take my sweet time to remove this lava hound threat out of the way so it doesn't pose any threat to me and uh, yes, yeah, so I still have a lot of time. I'm gonna use my poison spell to remove those, remove those lava pups. And I'm gonna break inside from the right side. And the reason I broke inside here is to remove all of these structures here in the right section. And if I remove all of these structures with the wizards behind them and send out my other golems and heroes and other troops from the top, then they can all funnel straight towards the core. So, so I took advantage of that, placed the jump spell, and I'm also using two rage, two freeze uh, to force my way straight inside that core because all I need is that town hall. And I know that I'm gonna be able to get that 50% because I also brought a few hog riders, uh, backup hog riders to clean up uh, for any extra percentage points that I need with a lot of cleanup archers to get that 50% if I fall short of that. Uh, but it was very easy to actually 50% this base even without uh, the, assist, the assistance of my hog riders. Here I'm gonna send out my hog riders, uh, have his defenses distracted with the golems. So I took advantage of that and also gonna use a bunch of archers uh, to, get to, to get the remaining buildings over there. So this was a very strong two star attack win I'd say, got 66% with two stars. 
Okay, so let's see where else they went wrong. Here they only managed to one star David. So let's see where this attacker went wrong. He's gonna use the Archer Queen with uh, Archer Queen walk with the Grand Warden behind the Archer Queen. As you can see, the Warden is traveling right behind the Archer Queen, buffing her up, but also assisting her in power. So that Archer Queen is doing a lot of damage. She's going, she's doing a lot of work, and here she's gonna be able to remove the Clan Castle threat as well. Uh, but it is gonna take a very long time because. Obviously, you're just using one troop, just the Archer Queen here, to deal all of this damage. So, let's see, he, he did all this damage. Remove the air defense, Eagle Artillery, Archer Tower. Then he sends in his uh, Barbarian King. Now, obviously, he was able to do all of that because the main defensive uh, threats are inside here, around this core area, uh, around the Town Hall, where you have the Infernal Towers, Teslas, both of the heroes so he hasn't really done much at all uh, and uh, here as you can see his archer queen and barbarian king are still at the left side and he still hasn't sent out his <laughs> lava hound and balloons yet and this is why he has failed against uh, David is because he did not remove the archer queen you're supposed to remove the archer queen so he was probably hoping that that his archer queen would somehow walk towards the top to remove that Archer Queen threat, the opposing Archer Queen here. And because he failed to remove that Archer Queen, it's just going to be futile. It doesn't matter if you get a 99%, uh, you're still not going to be able to get the third star. Or here, in this case, he failed to get even the second star because he, didn't, he failed to remove the Archer Queen. So your whole attack does not matter at all. Same with the previous attack you guys seen on fairies where the where the attacker also failed to remove the archer queen. Your whole attack does not matter at all if you don't remove the archer queen. So this whole attack was a fail just because you failed to remove the archer queen. Okay, let's look at another key attack that allowed us to win this war. And this was uh, fairies who three-starred this Town Hall 10 base very easily with his level 20 warden and level 3 witches. So as you can see, very open, the core, large compartments, which is ideal for witches to completely annihilate you. So here he's going to take advantage of that, use a bunch of witches against this Town Hall 10 base. Uh, and uh, there's really nothing this defender can do. Because uh, this defender is using a very poor base. Now, this th these types of bases have worked previously, but now with the new update and uh, level three witches, you should not be using these types of bases. They're just too prone to level three mass witches. It's just too easy to three star them, even though it's very easy to three star any town hall ten base uh, with level three witches. You really want to use more compartments in your base, uh, smaller compartments. But then, you know, you're still not going to be able to defend two stars against an attacker using the Earthquake spell if you have too many compartments. So the game at the moment, in my opinion, is very unbalanced. Uh, so hopefully Supercell does something about that. As uh, even if you have a lot of compartments to defend against Mass Witches, you're going to have problems. If you have two Multi Infernos to defend against Mass Witches, you're going to have problems against Mass Golems. Too many compartments. You're gonna have problems with earth against earthquake spells, uh, and if you have single target infernos to deal with mass golems or mass dragons, you're gonna have problems with level three uh, witches. So there's really nothing you can do at the moment. Okay, now let's look at one of our three star town hall nine attacks by one of our expert town hall nine war war attacker hurricane. And he's gonna use the Archer Queen walk, and he also has has very high level heroes, as you can see, level 30 Archer Queen, level 30 Barbarian King. So it's gonna be very easy for him to uh, three star. And he's also gonna take his sweet time here because of the extra 30 seconds. Uh, it just made life so much easier for Town Hall 9 players to easily three star opposing Town Hall 9s. So here he's just gonna take his sweet time strolling around with his level 30 Archer Queen. Uh, walking around this whole left side of the base going counterclockwise removing all of these threats and uh, then he's gonna start sending in his golem here on the right side remove more of those defenses he didn't even need the golem uh, to, he didn't even need to couple his golem with his archer queen so he decided to co come in from the right side with his golem barbarian king and wizards 
to remove more of those defenses and then it's just gonna be a breeze to uh, finish the rest of the space with Lava Loon. Couple of Lava Hounds and Balloons and it's just gonna be very easy to 3 star this Town Hall 9 base. So well done Hurricane, that was a very cool attack. So hope you guys enjoyed watching that and I also want to let you guys know that we're recruiting uh, war players, any Town Hall 9, 10, 11 players that are very experienced in wars. We look for the best players uh, and all of our, almost all of our Town Hall 10s have level 40 heroes or really high level heroes. So if you're a Town Hall 10 or 11 player, we do require that you have very powerful heroes like at least level 30 Barbarian King and Archer Queen. Uh, for Town Hall 9s, depends on your defensive level. If, you, if you're a max Town Hall 9 player, then we do require that you have at least level 20 heroes. Uh, if you have weaker defenses or are a Town Hall 8.5 player, uh, then we also do require that you have decent level heroes like level 15 Barbarian King and level 15 Archer Queen uh, at the minimum. So if you're interested, come apply, come join us, and we'd be happy to have you. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.